Welcome back to Poultry Farm Guide. It has been a while, over two weeks plus I made a video. I have been so busy and I have not been feeling so well so I have to take a break to recover. I thank God I am healthy and hearty again. So on today's episode, we will be talking about another super combination herbs for your chicken. How to use garlic and ginger supplement for your chicken. The benefits and the inclusion rate and the missing ratio of these two powerful halves in poultry farming. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. Welcome back, as I said earlier, I will share with you how to use garlic and ginger mixture supplement for your chicken. We all know that feed is one of the major costs when it comes to poultry production, as 80% of expenditure is secured in processing feeds. Now, to ensure that this feed is efficiently used and utilized, poultry farmers or feed formulators normally include what you call feed additives. And these are feed additives can be non-nutritive or nutritive and substances added in the feed. Example, the common one we all know is antibiotics. Antibiotics is synthetically or artificially produced and it helps to cure and prevent diseases and also increase feed efficiency in our chickens. Now, but over the years we have been having problem with this feed that this is particularly antibiotics and which have led to its ban in several countries around the world. Now, one of the two major problems we have with antibiotics is that one, drug resistance in both human and uh, in bacteria. Then, secondly, it causes a uh, disruption in the natural microbiota of the guts of chicken whereby when after giving a lot of antibiotics there's some useful bacteria in in the chicken's body that helps to digest and absorb nutrients not bad bacteria these ones are good ones so after giving antibiotics both the good ones and the bad ones are eliminated and then this causes some the, uh, shift in equilibrium where in the body system of the animal so there's a disruption in the in the digestive system so this is a big problem that is where a natural growth promoter comes in play researchers have done several works and there's several records of successful results in this field of uh, natural growth promoters and we have other natural supplements like uh, the, the probiotics symbiotics enzymes and plant extracts now this plant extract we have so many of them which have done video on them you can check my channel my videos i'm done in on on aloe vera ginger garlic and uh, bitter leaf basi scent leaf it is you name them they are so useful it helps you to save money and increases also feed efficiency and increase the weight of your broiler chicken now we all know that everything that has its own uh, pros has its own corn now this Natural anti uh, natural growth promoters or uh, plant extra or herbs are not too specifically targeted to a particular disease, just like the antibiotics. They are still in work in, prog in progress. Now, since they have these lapses, it is better off that by combining these two, one one or two herbs, we bring a better result. In, uh, in the body of the animal. So that's why uh, researchers of recent have been combining different halves to get a better result where these halves complement its other weaknesses. Like now, ginger and garlic have been combined and the successful results have been recorded that it has a strong trigger, a strong effect in the immune system and digestive system of uh, the chicken and also increasing apart from having antimicrobial antioxidant antiviral anti inflammatory properties both of them they also have they have also been proven to increase liveability and lower um, mortality in chickens and increase feed efficiency and uh, a feed conversion ratio in broiler chicken leading to better weight and better performance now how do we normally include this mixtures garlic and ginger supplement in our chicken without causing any harm they have they have researched in several mixtures in different level different 
level percentage in feed. Many research have been done on different level of inclusion of these two supplements. Now we have level of 1% level, 1.25% level, 1.75% level, but the one that have shown consistent results over time is the 1% level. Not others have not been showing results, but the one that have been showing consistent results, wide range of researchers, is the 1% level inclusion. Apart from the 1% level inclusion, we now come to the ratio of combination. Ratio of combination. They have different ratio of combining these things. We have um, garlic to ginger. When I measure the ratio, I mean garlic to ginger. So the general ratio under this 1% level inclusion is 3 ratio 1. 30 ratio 1. That is, if you are using 25 kg bag of feed, you are going to add uh, the total mixture is 250 grams. That is 1% of 25 kg is 250 grams. Now, the mixing ratio will be um, 187.5 of garlic mixed with 62.5% of ginger. This is for and 25 kg bag of feed. Then we come to 70 kg bag of feed. The total mixture is 700 grams. 700 grams. 700 grams. Then the missing ratio, the missing ratio will be 525 grams of uh, garlic mixed with 175 grams of ginger. That is the missing ratio for 700 grams and uh, supplement of garlic and ginger. Under 100 kg bag of feed, the total ratio, the, the total mixture of 1% is uh, 1,000 grams or 1 kg of this mixture to 100 kg bag of feed. Then the missing uh, ratio is 750 grams of uh, garlic mixed with 250 grams of uh, ginger. That is for 100 kg bag of feed. So I've made a video on um, how to use garlic for your chicken. You can check the link above. I also made a video how to use ginger for your chicken. You can also check the video above. If this content has been so useful to you, please boop the like button, click the notification bell, subscribe if you haven't done so. This is Ezran for somewhere. I will sign it out. See you on my next video. Always make your beds happy because a happy bed makes a happy farmer. Bye bye.